Well, this Sunday in Frazier, high school hockey players from rival schools will suit up together and take on the Red Wings alumni. And it's all for one teenager and his family. Brad Gall is here right now to explain. Brad? The game of hockey is rough in its nature. We all know that. Boys and girls who suit up when they're little, you learn. When you fall, you get back up. One player on Macomb, Dakota's team always got back up. His parents taught him that. But one moment on the ice changed everything. And now he's learning to get back up with the support of an enormous hockey community behind him. Anthony Mastronardi is not a fan of attention. A defenseman for the Macomb, Dakota hockey team. On the ice, he's always preferred staying out of the spotlight. I don't know. I think I just like the whole defensive perspective more, like just like holding down the fort. This past hockey season, everyone in the rink paid attention to Anthony for a reason every parent fears. It wasn't a malicious play. They were both going for the puck in the corner. They fell and, you know, they hit the boards. And you kind of stood there for a couple seconds like you did every time they would fall. Okay, he's going to get back up. If he got bumped or if he got hit, he'd limp off, but he never laid on the ice. So I knew it was bad when he was down. Anthony suffered a brain bleed, a spinal injury that left him paralyzed from the neck down. For the next five months, Anthony lived at the hospital. There has been progress. He's worked to get arm and trunk movement, and there have been visitors. His Dakota hockey team moved their annual Christmas party to the hospital. Being around all the guys, that camaraderie, what does that mean to you? I think it means a, it means a lot, I'd say, yeah. The Red Wings caught wind of Anthony's story and sent a fellow defenseman to the ICU, Danny DeKaiser. It meant a lot to him. He said, you know, he talked to me like I was a regular guy, Mom. Just this month, Anthony got to go home. This weekend, Red Wings alumni will face off against some of his senior teammates and seniors from other schools in the area. It's a fundraiser for supplies and equipment to continue his therapy. You're smiling almost every, every second. Why do you smile so much? Because you don't want to be miserable going through hell, I guess. So I'm smiling to keep going. Oh. I mean, it wasn't fake. It wasn't forced. He was smiling the entire time. I could have listened to him and his family talk the entire day. Anthony, if you want to support him and his family, the game is Sunday, 6 o'clock at Frazier. Uh, and if you saw the picture there, the mm -hmm. Red Wings sent Danny DeKaiser to his room, and then cool. they invited him to a game. So his entire oh. family got to go into the locker room. And he did tell me he just got asked to go to prom oh. coming up later this uh, well, summer. What's Very his prognosis? Nice. Uh, he told me five years from now, I said, where are you going to be? He goes, I'll be walking. Excellent. Good. We you can him. feel that in his spirit. No doubt. Yeah. Thank you, Brad. All right.